Hey, what is up, guys? This is Echo from the Ape Gamers today playing Minecraft. So, welcome back. And today we are, well, I guess I should say we're starting out on the mob grinder, but I've done a lot of work on it beforehand. So, let's jump right into it. So, pretty much what, what I did off camera was I went and gathered up all the resources and, of course, built the pads. I did want to record all of this on camera but it would have taken a total of probably the next five episodes if i did 15 minute episodes it takes an hour or two to do especially if you're making it in the sky it's a bit faster if you do underground honestly just in case you wanted to know so right now we're gonna just gonna go and finish out the pads put down the slabs so putting down the slabs you put it in the middle of this pad and then you put every other one on the side pads this prevents spiders from spawning because it only lets a one by one spawn pad at the maximum. Spiders need a clearance of two, or yeah, two by two to spawn that way. So if they don't have two by two to spawn, they cannot spawn, which is great if you're just wanting arrows and feathers and yeah, just mostly arrows and feathers. Or if you're trying to get a lot of TNT, you want to make a spawning pad probably similar to this because this is meant solely for just the regular tall mobs and also if you make the design the way I do and make the ceiling only too tall that will also stop endermen from destroying it after the update comes to endermen so that way you don't have to totally redesign it if the update comes and the endermen destroy your base okay so now let's, let's start putting down some of the water streams right now too the water streams are and this are relatively simple the design is but they seem to work really well from what I can tell okay oh need a crafting table okay we're also going to need a stone cutter because right now the way that the water stream works is we need stairs and signs for it but I'll have to do the signs part off camera because signs tend to crash the game I don't know when they're going to actually fix that bug, but I'm pretty sure they'll fix it eventually. And I'm still waiting on a fix for uh, the slabs, because right now the slabs don't actually show it as stone or wood slabs. It actually shows the code name. Okay, so what you got to do is you got to clear six long on each of the sides for the two wide. I got some gaps under mine because I made it in midair and I was trying to save cobble. Cobble's expensive. <laughs> when you make projects this big, you run out of cobble really fast. You'd be surprised. So, and then you put right here stairs on each side. Fill that in first. And that way, the one you put place the water and the signs, the water keeps flowing on a continuous stream, making it so the mobs don't stop at any point in the stream. This is great because then your mob spawner does not clog at all. So let's just finish up that, fill in the holes. Hmm. Oh yeah, if you guys do want to see a full guide slash, yeah, just full guide to how to make this specifically from scratch all the way, then if you comment and tell me that you want me to make it, if I get a couple comments of people telling me they want to see a video, a full video guide of this monster grinder then I will make one but only if I get three or four people telling me that they want it so if you do want to see this built from scratch so you can make it in your own world please remember to comment and okay so let's just finish up the stairs this uh, is a really simple design I did actually probably designed it inside an hour when I was at school a while back and Really, I just made it because I was tired of spiders. Spiders tend to clog up your sp grinders. So if you do want spiders for the string, I would recommend making a spider-specific grinder. That way you don't have to worry about it messing with your tall mobs. Actually, there is... Oh, I mean, now I'm working on converting this specific spawner. Because... Uh, in the next updates, and while soon they'll add redstone, probably in another four or five updates. And if they add pistons anytime soon, you can actually make it so you can use pistons to pull the slabs down. 
If you do that, then the, you'll be able to change it so it spawns spiders when you want it and doesn't when you don't. But if you do that, you have to widen up this right here, this little middle stream. So water goes in each one of the corners. Okay, we got two more left. Let's go refill this first at our water stream, or water pond. And if you do want an infinite water pond, it's relatively easy to make. You can either make a straight line of three source blocks, and then you just take it out of the middle, or you can make right here, just a little four or two by two square. As long as you don't take water out of it too fast, it will never run out. So it's useful to carry around two or three buckets for building projects. The reason I carry around five is so when I'm using a lot of water at once, I don't have to go back into my inventory to find the buckets. Because sadly, if you use a bucket of water or pick up water, then your bucket is sent back into your inventory because technically it is considered a new item. Uh oh. Okay, I'm going to go place the signs down. I will be right back in a second or two, right after we fill up the water bottle, water buckets. Man, I keep messing that up. So let's refill the water buckets first, and then we'll go and I'll go put down the signs. So I will be right back in a second. Okay, and I am back. So I placed down the signs. Let me drop down and show you that real quick. Yeah, they're right down here. You can place them right above the gap, right next to the stairs. And then that way, when you place water right here and on the other side, if I can place, there we go. Now the mobs won't stop. The only reason I'm stopped right now is because I have ladders placed so I don't float downstream. And after we take out those ladders, it will be, there won't be any stops in the whole stream. And it will be very efficient and stop any clogging in the grinder. Keep going. Because I've already done most of the work off camera, I think I should be able to uh, finish all the parts I'm going to show with just the basic stuff in probably two episodes of so this one and my next one. And once again, just remember to comment if you want to see a full guide, because I am fully willing to do that. But only if people actually want to see it. I'm not going to spend an hour making it if nobody's going to watch it, you know? Especially because it takes a long time. And I prefer to do it on survival. Pick that up. Oh, well, that was stupid of me. I should have just jumped on the pads and just placed them from the pads. I didn't. That didn't occur to me. Okay. I uh, know, you guys are probably thinking I should have thought of that earlier. Oh well. So let's just go and finish putting these down. I know, it's beautiful. Isn't it? Okay, so that's all the water. That's all the signs. Now we just got to take out the ladders and the lights. And then it'll stop start spawning mobs. I wouldn't recommend doing that until uh, you finish everything. Okay, so right now we are under the grinder right now, and this is a little uh, drop shaft. I use it that way when the mobs come through and they drop into the 2x2 two two cube. I use this water stream right here on this little jut to push them into a 1x1 one one hall right here. That way they are easier to sort, or easier to drown in my drowning trap I will be making. And that drowning trap is relatively easy. I'll probably do a quick guide on that also. So, let's pick up the water. And I'm actually, I have a question. If you, I'm planning on a, I know I've been doing this world for the last couple episodes. So I know I'm only going to be three episodes in by this time, but I know some people probably wouldn't want me to change. But I have figured out through a couple friends on how to port PC worlds into Minecraft Pocket Edition. So, I don't know if any of you guys have an argument or have something against me porting in a PC world. But if nobody has anything against it, if you don't comment and tell me not to, I will do it and switch the Let's Play to that world and start over. 
because with the PC world, it'll be more entertaining for you guys, because then I can, uh, it'll be more entertaining for me too, because I'll be able to go caving, and there'll be villages, mine shafts, all that good stuff. Might lag the game a little bit more though, because mobs can spawn in the caves. But it's still more fun to watch if, more fun to watch me go caving and stuff if there's mobs. And so if you do don't care, then just say you don't care or don't respond at all. If you do care and you want me to stay with this world, then make sure you make a comment because otherwise I'm moving to the other world. Okay, so as you can see, the water has flowed all the way down. If you count the source block, water flow is a total of 8 blocks. Not counting the source block is 7 blocks flow. So let's clean up this. I don't believe there's anything we need to do else here until we come up and let the water streams go after we finish the drop shaft. So let's go and dig down through our wood, get back to the bottom. And on our way down, we will be building the shaft. Also, doing it this way works really well because then uh, this way the light doesn't filter through as much. If you have a regular just flat drop where it just drops the mobs and kills them with fall damage, then it tends to let a little bit of light into the grinder, which lowers its efficiency, even slightly. But I don't want to make something that's less efficient than anything somebody else makes. Yeah. Doing this part is painstakingly boring. So in this part, you pretty much just build down a tunnel all the way down to uh, near the bottom where you will be making, or I will be making a drowning trap. But for the drowning trap part, it actually needs to be glass. It won't work with just stone. Because when you... When the water flows downwards, it makes it so you can't swim up, but only makes it that way if there is a uh, air or glass next to it. If it's in a, right next to a solid block that is not transparent, it will work like any other source block, and it will not force you to swim downwards. So you do have to make the, at least the bottom part out of glass. But usually because of that bottom jut that juts it out, Light pollution shouldn't really be a problem. Yeah, I hate doing these type of parts on camera because you can't think of what to say in the middle of it. So let's keep going. Might take a little bit longer. It's a lot of fun, you know. I think I'd be more fun to do a PC world because then I'd probably, if I did port in a PC world, I'd probably port in a uh, one that had a village and a mineshaft and a, yeah, probably just a village, a mineshaft and a desert temple. That way you have more to uh, look at, more entertaining stuff. I don't think the mob spawners do work, mob spawners don't work in PE, so even if the world did have a mob spawner, like the spider spawners that would be in the Mineshaft, Mineshaft, it still probably wouldn't work. Sadly, they haven't added in monster spawners or caves yet into Minecraft PE, which is slightly disappointing. But I'm sure they probably aren't that far from the, that update. The reason they haven't done it yet is because they're worried about the lag it probably, or most likely will cause to the game. <laughs> because as you can probably tell already at night time, the game lags quite a lot simply from the mob spawning even more so when i'm recording so that's an on another ongoing concern if i do decide to do the port i'll port a world in one way or another i will port one from one in for personal play and that'll be awesome so looks like that's all we have time for this little jet will be part of our drowning trap which you will see in the next episode so Thanks for watching, remember to like and subscribe for our videos if you want to see more, and I will see you guys in the next video, so stay tuned for episode 3, later guys!